for more on Spring Travel Rush, we're joined by Larry Yu, the professor of hospitality management at George Washington University here in Washington, D.C. Larry, thanks so much for coming in. We appreciate it. Well, thank you, Sean. As you heard, big news all over China. And the numbers that, that uh, Sun Yu just told us, I've read some numbers just a couple of weeks ago. They expected 40 billion visits. So, wow, it's ratcheting up quick. So people are ready to hit the road after years of adverse effects from COVID. Record numbers, as we heard, expect that a lot of people are going to be heading to global destinations outside of China. What does this all tell you? Well, this is just uh, very exciting, especially for the Chinese uh, travel and the tourism industry, but also for the global uh, travel market. And domestically, uh, it's just a tremendous momentum built from the New Year's travel uh, holiday break, which was much shorter, three-day uh, holiday, but now this time <laughs> it's big. Uh, just follow up on that report, uh, of, the, of the 9 billion Chinese people moving, traveling during this period of time, 80%, uh, 80%, uh, about 7.2 billion people will travel uh, by automobiles. Mm -hmm. And so you will have very crowded, congested uh, roadways, but it's very good uh, for those travelers to uh, venture out right. and to explore new destinations um, in many different parts of the uh, uh, country. And, and also, and Larry, and also, just just real quickly, to put those numbers in perspective. When you say 7.2 billion people, there are only that many people on Earth. You mean there are going to be a number of trips where people are going to travel over and over and over, uh, yeah. and that adds yes. up to 7.2 uh, yeah. billion. Yeah, that's the person trips. Yeah. Okay, so one sign, according to Chinese travel agencies, that people are ready to splurge. Splurge, mind you. Nearly 80% of the people who plan to go to Southeast Asia, and that's a popular destination, are going to stay at high-end luxury sites. They want to spoil themselves. Again, what does this tell you? Oh yeah, this this basically tells you know those uh, international destinations has been waiting for the Chinese outbound tourists to you know return to those destinations, and so they will. Uh, and now they're coming, and and everybody is waiting for this uh, return of the golden week. And so this is, you know, being uh, realized with those uh, number of people going to those destinations. And so destinations actually working very hard to uh, provide uh, services and, and accommodations and more facilitations of ease of travel uh, for those uh, Chinese visitors to return those, de those, uh, those destinations. And so it's really good mm -hmm. for uh, the whole value chain of the travel business. Yeah. Uh, and we're seeing uh, behind yes. you the wonderful culture, the wonderful cuisine uh, back there. So visa-free travel is going to be playing a very important role as well. Two questions, really. Why did the government recently change? And what is it going to mean for tourists who just want to maybe make a last-minute decision? I want to visit here. I want to visit there. Uh, uh, yeah, basically... Uh, Travel uh, is such a big uh, part of, you know, uh, culture, and the Chinese people tend to travel and explore other new cultures and other new uh, places, meeting new people. And this, uh, this uh, a proverb saying that, you know, travel 10,000 uh, uh, miles uh, worth of, uh, uh, you know, uh, reading, you know, uh, uh, volumes of books. And so this is definitely a, a good opportunity now for people to travel. And now uh, it's safe to go, and, and they have the economic means to go. And this is also still part of this uh, lingering revenge travel <laughs> we have seen since you know beginning of last year when China was first opened. And now they are going to venture out farther now, uh, not just uh, those uh, uh, Southeast Asia countries now, and they continue to go to the Middle East, and then they also go to uh, Europe. And so, uh, so this is just part of that trend uh, will continue to um, emerge. And I, I think I'm very positive that okay. this will continue uh, throughout the year. Wonderful. Larry Yu, as always, we appreciate your insight. Thank you again. Uh, thank you.